Hey everybody, it's Molly here. I just wanted to pop on before the video started to make you guys aware of the fact that I did include my PayPal link in this video and I will include it um, in every video description going forward. A lot of people have asked for like a tip jar slash donation site, so I decided to do it like this. Please don't feel like you have to donate. Um, a lot of people have asked me for it, so that's why I'm doing it. I will still make content regardless, but I just wanted to let you guys know. All right, so enjoy this video. Hey everybody, it's Molly here. I'm going to be doing a what I got for Christmas video because I am stuck in the year 2010 and I think these videos are cool and relevant. Um, I apologize for any background noises or anything, but I really want to get this film so I can start putting all this shit away. Jimmy is screaming. Okay. So we did um, Secret Santa at work. So um, the girl that had me got me this cute little candle from White Barn. It's in the scent Strawberry Pound Cake. And holy shit, it like literally smells just like straight up strawberry shortcake. It smells so good. And the pink is so pretty. Also, my Christmas tree in the background. Um, the pink is like literally stunning. So she got me that, and then she got me this really cute, um, like cream colored scarf. It's just like a knit scarf. I don't know where it's from. There's no tag or anything on it. Um, that's really soft and has like fringe on the bottom. Just something warm and cozy. Right now, there's about like two feet of snow outside, so Jimmy and I are literally snowed into my apartment. Um, so that's been fun. <laughs> but yeah, so I got this cute cream colored scarf. And then my one boss, she made me this cute um, little ornament. It says my name on it. She made brown glitter. She said she made brown for Jimmy. Isn't it so cute? She has like a cricket, so. Just says Molly on it. And I'm gonna hang this up. I just need a little ornament hook. And I'm going to leave my Christmas tree up until February for sure. So cute. And then my other boss, she got me a bottle of Chardonnay. Um, I'm going to put this in the fridge after I film that. Um, I don't know much about wine, but I know that I like white wine. I like Pinot Grigio. I like Chardonnay. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with this. Thank you to my work queens. Alright. Um... Jimmy got a bunch of stuff too, but I already put all his toys away, so <laughs> sorry if you wanted to see what Jimmy got for Christmas. Um, Alright, so I just have a couple bags right here of stuff, so I'm just going to pull random shit out let you guys know. Um, I didn't go anywhere for Christmas this year. Normally we go to my grandma's house, um, and she'll like give us little gifts and stuff, but we didn't go anywhere, obviously, because of COVID, so it was a really like, chill, laid-back Christmas. Very grateful for everything that I got. Um, one of my main gifts was this ring. This is from my parents. Um, I needed a new opal ring. So they got me this really pretty opal. It's got some diamonds and it's a gold band and it's so beautiful. Um, I needed, like I said, a new opal ring because mine had to get cut off when I got fat. But yeah, so I just switched. I have my clown ring on my left hand now and I put my opal ring over here because it kind of looked like an engagement ring. <laughs> but um, got engaged. I'm just kidding, but it's like literally so pretty and I'm in love with it. I hope that really shows focus. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, that was one of my main gifts. I guess I could take it off and show you guys too. Like, oh my god. It's literally so stunning and opal is my birthstone, so I am allowed to wear it. Alright. So, um, my mom got me this cute Starbucks cup. Like, are we joking with this? It's like a maroon, red, and black cup. It's so pretty. And when I say my mom, I really mean my parents, but my dad obviously didn't buy anything. <laughs> he didn't pick anything out, but it's like so beautiful. And I broke my Starbucks cup, so I'm very happy with this one. And it, it is literally my whole box. And then my sister got me um, another Starbucks cup. This one is so beautiful. This one is like a dark green into black ombre vibe. He's scratching his thing. But yeah, I 
it's so cute. And so I broke, like I said, I broke my Starbucks cups and now I have two. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, next thing. Okay, this is from my Secret Santa. If you don't know, I have, I have six brothers and one sister. So we do Secret Santa with the kids. Um, and my youngest brother, he had me. So he got me this sweater from American Eagle. I'm sure my mom picked it out, but. I got me this really cute cream colored sweater from American Eagle. I love sweaters. I'll definitely be wearing this to work because it has a really it has a high neckline. It's thick. It is literally so soft. And it like matches that um, sweater. It's so nice. American Eagle is my favorite place to get sweaters from hands down. And this is in the size medium. Oh, and it has like different design on the bottom kind of. Is it a cross stitch? Cross stitch. I don't know what the fuck literally so soft I love sweaters and, okay my sister got me the James Charles X Morphe brush set like are you joking she was like all your brushes are so crusty <laughs> um so it came in this really nice carrying case which is another reason that she said she got it for me um which I really appreciate and there's just like a bunch of brushes and you've got some brushes in here it looks like um I think I have this one but we got some like blending brushes. And then just like a flat top brush. You can't really see them that well. Um, a flat brush. A little highlighter brush. Oh, and this has a spoolie. Oh my god, that's so exciting. And then let's see, just like a bunch of like shading brushes. And more blending brushes came with a lot, actually. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And I think these are just, like, James Charles's, like, favorite brushes, I think. Um, but, yeah, so cute. I love it. I, I'm not the biggest James Charles fan anymore. She isn't either. We used to, like, love him, but we don't really watch him. This was very sweet of her and very thoughtful as well. Um, I'm just going to move these scarves away from me. Throw my shit down. Okay. Alright, and then my sister. So my sister wasn't my secret Santa, but since there's only two girls in the family, we always get gifts for each other. Um, she got me the, I want to say Saharan is what it's called by Juvia's Place um, eyeshadow palette. Juvia's Place has, like, one of the best, some of the best eyeshadows I've ever used. Um, I have another one of their palettes that she got me for Christmas, I think last year, two years ago, and it's amazing. And it is a black-owned brand, and they do sell it in Ulta, but the colors are literally stunning, like, are you joking? At first, I was like, oh my god, these are, like, really bright colors, but, like, I will definitely use, like, this one, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> this one is stunning. I really want to try it. Oh my god, you can see my gnome in the background. <laughs> I really want to try this one out. I feel like it'd be really pretty. Um, they're just so pigmented and so beautiful. I like don't even want to touch them. And like this is a highlighting color. Are you joking? They're literally so pretty. And I think this is black. But it like, kind of looks like navy. I don't really can't really tell. I don't really want to swatch it. Um literally stunning are you joking and then just the color of the palette is so pretty they have press they're press they're a mixture of press pigments and actual eyeshadows um and it says that the press pigments are not intended for use around the immediate eye area which i don't know what that means like i think it means like really close to your eye like under here but i'm still gonna use it um they're cruelty free designed and formulated in the usa they have some really, really, really great products. Now, I don't think they ever, like, I think them being an Ulta is new. But so nice. Alright, then my mom got me, oh, another sweater. This is from, wait, or my sister gave me this. I can't remember, but it's like a green, oh, my sister, my sister got me this. It's from Target, it's just this green sweater. Um, oh my god, it has like the same stitching on the bottom. Um, it's such a pretty color. I don't, I do have a lot of stuff. Not a lot of stuff in this color, but like this specific green I feel like looks really pretty on me. I like green with my hair. Um, but it's like, 
it's a large because it's cropped. Um, so I'm hoping that I, it's not too cropped so I can wear it to work, but if not, I can just like wear it out. <laughs> but yeah, super soft. If you ever need to know what to get me for Christmas or anything, give me a sweater. So cute and so nice. And then my other part of my brother's um, secret Santa present to me, he's seven or eight or nine, I don't know how old he is, but they got me this little Jimmy ornament for his first Christmas. They put his picture in there and it says Jimmy. It says 2020 on here. He heard me say Jimmy. So it's so cute. And I said I wanted like a pug ornament or something because surprisingly I don't have any pug ornaments or Jimmy related ornaments on my tree. So how cute is that? He's so handsome. I love him so much. And it also has like a little stand so you could like use it as like um, you don't have to use it as an ornament. You just use it as decor. But I'm probably going to This is a robe from Ulta. My mom got me something else from Ulta and this was just like a free gift with purchase. So it's super, super soft. And I just got a new robe, so now I have four robes. I have a silk one from Victoria's Secret. I have a big, like really big fluffy one from Target, but it's like way too big. Like it's too fluffy and too hot. It, it's too much. And then my sister just got me one from Target. It's so comfy. And then this one is pink. Like, are you joking? I love robes though because like when you're getting ready it you just feel like so bougie when you're in a robe but it's just pink and it's just from Ulta um and it's short which I like the short robes I don't like the really long ones so. and I'm hoping it, it does it has pockets that's how you know it's a good robe but yeah it's super super soft and pretty but yeah it was just a free gift with purchase so she wrapped that shit up okay <laughs> my sister got me that stuff that's on TikTok it's called buns of Look, Glory, I think it's called Smoothing Butt Polish. I don't know why she got this for me, but it's supposed to like tighten your butt. I don't know, but it's like super pretty. Um, it's like this watermelon and like green. Um, she like tried to take off the tag here, but it basically says in the shower, the bath, take a small amount of Buns of Glory mixed with water to get a nice lather and rub on your booty in circular motions and rinse. I don't know if it's actually gonna work, but. <laughs> It's just so funny that she got this for me, but it's like watermelon, I think. Watermelon, retinol, wheat protein, apricot, and orange flower boost. It's vegan, clean, high-performing animal, cruelty-free, real, fresh, made in USA, with global ingredients. Oh my god. Oh my god, it smells so good. Look how pretty that is. I like almost don't want to touch it. But yeah, it's a smoothing butt polish. We're bougie. <laughs> I can't remember. I opened it up. My dad was like, what is that? And I was like, well, it's not pretty. So I asked for just like a plain black sweatshirt because I surprisingly don't have any plain black sweatshirts. I want a champion, but my mom got me Nike, which is even better. Um, it's just plain, literal black sweatshirt. I know Jimmy's going to get hair all over this, but I have these pair of really cute um, Lululemon leggings that I got for my birthday but they're green camo and I have a lot of black sweaters but sometimes I just you know want to throw on a sweatshirt be comfy and I don't have like any black sweatshirts to go with it I have like green sweatshirts that I can wear but then if I wear like my green combat boots it's like too much green um and I was gonna ask for a pair of black combat boots for Christmas but I think I'm just gonna buy those myself um so I did ask for yeah, so I got this black sweatshirt to match that. And now that I'm thinking about it, my mom got me, oh my god, for Christmas, she got me the cutest pair of boots and I left them at my parents' house. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, because I had to get out of there pretty quickly. Not pretty quickly, but I left on Saturday morning because it was still snowing a bunch and I didn't want to get stuck there for another day because I didn't have, like, enough food for Jimmy and I wanted to come home and, like, just be home. Um... But they're like these brown um, wedges. They're, sor they're Sorrel boots and they're like brown wedges and they're so cute. I wish I had them. Um, but I left them at my parents' house so that fucking sucks. But yeah, um, black sweatshirt from Nike. So cute. Um, Alright, this next gift is like so extra but it needed, it needed to happen. Jimmy, <laughs> and every month, um, it just 
just basically has different pictures of Jimmy on it. Um, I'm not going to show the first one because like I'm in a bunch of pictures and they're really ugly. But um, like she put like different photos and stuff on there of Jimmy for every month. Um, and she put like all of our birthdays in here too. And like are you joking? So every month <laughs> it's just a different photo of Jimmy. And she made it. She got it on Shutterfly. This is like one of my favorite gifts, like this. Like, are you joking? Like, Jimmy is my whole life. Um, so I'm excited to hang this up. And look at the Christmas one, are you joking? This is for their Christmas card. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I did post that picture on Insta, but look at him. He's on the train, are you joking? He's literally the cutest dog in the whole world. So that was like so cute and like unexpected. Thoughtful gifts like that that like you had to put time and effort and like into and, like are my favorite obviously. Okay, so I want to move that. Okay. <laughs> the next thing I got was this pillow from Casper. Um, I asked for a new pillow because mine is super like old. Like I got it back in like sophomore junior year of college and this one's just supposed to be super soft and nice i haven't opened it up yet because um i was just really tired last night to be like opening it i don't know but yeah, so it's just called the pillow and it's supposed to be really comfy um you can wash it which i think you can wash all pillows but like it's safe to wash um and there's like an inner pillow and an outer pillow and it basically like adapts to your um Sleeping. Okay, so very excited about that. Next, I got okay. I got this cute sweater. This is from Gap, um, and Gap has really cute shit. Like y'all are sleeping on Gap. We have a Gap outlet um close to me that I always go to. They have the best like just simple standard pieces like t-shirts, sweaters, just like basic simple, which is like my my style. I literally wear like the simplest shit. I have no style. <laughs> So it's just this like black sweater. Um, it's quarter length sleeves, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, maybe they're full sleeves and they just like looked really short to me. They might be full sleeved, I don't know. But it's just a black sweater, which is super cute. My style, 100%. Oh shoot, then I got a couple um, things that I can't show just cause they like, they're basically just like, um, mm, just like sports related items um so i'll just like leave those over here because they have like hometown like sports stuff but i got leggings a sweatshirt or a t-shirt and then this cute hat which i can show the back of the hat but it's really cute it's just cream colored okay then i got this Laneige lip sleeping mask and i heard really 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 good things about this um so i wanted to try it out i think i just got the regular one they had a bunch of different flavors i think Oh, berry mix. I don't know. Did I get that? I don't know what I got. Makeup to baby soft lips. Oh yeah. Enriched with berry mix complex to leave lips soft, lips soft and smooth. And you basically just leave this on overnight. You're supposed to wake up and your lips are supposed to be smooth and beautiful. Yeah, it looks like this. And it smells super good. I gave some to my mom. I just gave her a little piece on a Q-tip because her lips were really chapped and she said it worked. cute little like spatula look how cute is that put that on this is mad lip sharpness which y'all know is me okay so cute uh okay then i got this um stick on um like cosmetic brush cl cleaning mat you just like it suctions to your sink and then you just like wash your brush on brushes on it they have a bunch of different like patterns to like get all your different brushes um so yeah this is very cute love her. oh thank god <laughs> then i got a new wet brush um they had a cheap print one are you literally joking 
these are the best brushes in the whole wide world if you haven't tried them i highly suggest you do um they just i have super super thick hair and they literally it runs through my hair like in one swipe like fresh out of the shower like not washed in 10 days like doesn't matter like it gets like every knot and tangle out without like yanking and pulling your hair um the one that i have right now is black and like all the bristles are like all bent and broken because like i said i have really thick hair but um yeah this one's cheetah print like are you joking my sister got one too and it was zebra print but um they have these are the ones that they have in the safari collection what is that tiger print that's cute you i feel like you don't really see stuff in like tiger and they're like they sell these everywhere at target i've seen them in tj maxx Walmart, um, yeah, just like, and also it says it minimizes split ends, which I don't have split ends, so I don't know if that's due to that brush or what. Oh, we've got, oh, I got a necklace with my name on it, like, are you joking? I think these are so cute, um, so I think I might layer it with my, with my Kata necklace, but I don't know. I bought one of these when I went to Hilton Head, um, on vacation, when I went to South Carolina, and I lost it. Like, I bought it and, like, I can't find it anywhere. So, very happy with that. And then, of course, we got some Swedish fish. Swedish fish. I also got some Reese cups, too. I don't know what those are. If I left that on at home, I'm going to kill my mom. Okay. Um, oh, my God. This I'm so excited for. I got the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Um, if you guys know who Michaela is on TikTok, she's like a makeup artist. Um, she has like funny accent <laughs> from Boston or somewhere. But my mom like absolutely loves her, so she heard of this. She said that she saw this in Sephora and thought of Michaela, and she got it for us. So I'm very excited to try this. It's supposed to be like one of the best makeup primers. Um, and it's just like a gripping primer, just gonna keep your makeup on all day. And I, she like posted, or she didn't, I think it was Jackie, oh, I don't know what her last name is, Alina, Aina, whatever she is, whatever her name is. She posted a video on like how to get, how to make your makeup stay, like throughout masks, um, all day. And it basically said, use a primer and then put on a setting powder. And then you put on your foundation, but you mix your foundation with setting spray. And then you just like set it again. So I feel like this is really going to help because it's like a gripping primer. Um, and it's like really hydrating, which is good. So I kind of want to try that out because like when I wear my, when I go to work every day, like I'll just wear makeup like this, just like concealer, eyeshadow, or mascara and eyebrows. Um, but I do like to do full glam. Like that's what I like to do. I like to do my makeup, but I don't because I know that I'm going to be wearing a mask most of the day. Um, or if I know I'm going to be in my office by myself most of the day, like I'll just, I'll do full makeup sometimes. So I kind of want to try this out and see if it helps. This is by the brand Milk. Um, so it's a gel makeup primer. It hydrates with hemp driven cannabis seed extract and grips makeup with blue agave extract. So I'm very excited. It's supposed to be good for your skin too, which I'm really working on my skin. I'm still got some breakouts and scars and stuff on my chin, but um, you know, we're dealing with her. Let's see. Oh, of course, we got some pug socks. Didn't even have any pug socks. I needed to get some. Look how cute that is. Doesn't really look like Jimmy, but it'll do. Also, I desperately need to get my nails done. Like, are you joking? Look how. So, I normally get them done every three weeks and I get the dip powder. But, um, like, I was supposed to go this past Monday, but it was like too close to Christmas. There was too much going on. So, I did it. But now they're like super long and gross. I got a restock on my favorite perfume. This is the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Um, I don't want to open it right now just because, but this is what my mom got the free um, gift with. But this is just, and it's just, I don't even think this is, it's an eau de parfum. I don't know if it's like a full ass perfume, but I love it. It smells really good. And I saw this girl on TikTok. This is like how I start most of my conversations about what I saw on TikTok. But she said to put like Vaseline or something as like a base before you put on your um, perfume to like make it stay longer. Let me know if that's true. But this is the the black bottle with the gold um, flower on top. So that's my favorite. 
open the boxes and look pretty. Should open it. Oh my god. And then this last thing is just um this is a silk pillowcase um, from the brand Bliss brand Blissy and it's just it's gray and it's just silk. These are supposed to be really good for your hair, really good for your skin. Um it's 100 percent pure mulberry silk. be really good for your, your hair and with the new pillow I figured that I would ask for a nice silk pillowcase. I've always wanted one. Um, I got one once from like TJ Maxx but like it was like not as soft as I wanted it to be so I'm excited to try this one. So that is what I got for Christmas. I'm very very grateful for everything that I got. Um, I like to film these videos because a lot of people request them. Like it's my most requested video throughout the year. So I'm not trying to like show off what I got. Like I'm very grateful that um, I have the opportunity to get gifts and that my family loves me <laughs> and that they can afford these gifts. Um, this might be a ton to some people. This might be nothing to some people. It doesn't really matter. Like I got everything that I wanted um, and I feel weird like asking for gifts because like, you know, I moved out, like I'm financially independent, but it's nice to like a restock like on the perfume like a pillow like who would ask for a pillow for christmas i don't know i feel like that's kind of like a weird thing to ask for but like it was stuff that i needed um what else i mean i didn't really need the starbucks cup but like mine broke and i needed a black sweatshirt so it's like nice to have those things that you ask for and then like little gifts that like you wouldn't like i would never buy this for myself because it's expensive i would never buy like the lip i probably would buy the lip mask but like it's just nice to be thought of and um yeah especially with like secret santa gifts and stuff to like actually get stuff that you'll use like that candle and that scarf and then the bottle of wine <laughs> and then from um my brother and stuff so i'm just very grateful very appreciative for everything that i have i know the holidays are tough for a lot of people and especially like this christmas was really weird for everyone i'm sure um but hopefully by the next holiday season We'll be allowed to be with family again. I'm remaining optimistic into this year, 2021, because that's all we really can do at this point. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys soon.